Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to try to solve lit code question number three, median of two sorted arrays. This is one of the frequently asked question uh, during the interview. And this is part of the much larger series on interview questions on algorithm and data structures. So please try to follow it. I'll provide a link here. All right. So let's first understand the question. Given two sorted arrays, nums one and nums two of size M and N respectively, return the median of two sorted arrays. And it has to be done in the runtime complexity of log M plus N. So let's try to solve the problem. And welcome to Texas Tutorials. All right, so let's look at some hints in the question. Uh, we always need to read question at least three times to find out if there are hints given. And one of the hints you can see in this question is two sorted arrays, which means arrays are already sorted. That's a, a good hint. Uh, the second thing is we need to find out what a median is. This is a mathematical problem. A lot of people may not know what median is. So let's first understand what a median is. So first of all, make sure that you know what a median is before, before you start. Otherwise, you go in a wrong direction. So here's two sample arrays. Let's say if you have an array, which is this, and this is actually an array with odd numbers of elements. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five elements, which is odd numbers of element. The median is the middle number, regardless of the values of this. I could have this as 9,000, right? Uh, this doesn't change what my median is. The median is middle number, which is four. Because on either side, there are two numbers, right? So this is the, the most middle number. So the answer to this is the median is four. But what if you're given an array with even number of elements? In this case, let's say if you have something like this, which is, I have four elements. Now there is no middle number. So you have to have two middle numbers, which means two and four, and either side of it, there is only one number. So it's equal. I have two middle numbers, which is two, and four because it's two we can just take an average of it which is two plus four divided by two and this would be six divided by two which is three so median of this array is four median of this array is three so our input is two arrays and the output is a single number now let's look at the question again uh, we have input we have two arrays which are already sorted which means if i want to find a median i have to combine those two arrays right because it says median of all the numbers which means how to combine the two arrays let's say i have this arrays right and if i combine them in that case i would get what i'm going to call it total array equal to i would get one two well actually I'm, i would get one two one three and two right because I would just concat them too. Now this array is no longer sorted. So if I want to find a middle number, I have to sort it. So I have to first combine, then I have to sort the array, right? And then the sorted array would be more like this, one, two, and three. Then I have to find out, is, is this array's length is even or odd? In this case, even or odd. So we can find out even or odd length, right? And then find middle number. If we do this way, then this would be more like a brute force algorithm. So let's first look at the brute force before we optimize it. So we're just going to follow this step. In doing an interview, let's say, if you don't know the optimal solution and you're running out of time, I would just go for a brute force first. And then you may get some hint how to optimize it, right? But you need to find a solution regardless of whether you do optimally or brute force way. By the way, brute force means attack without a strategy. Uh, in this case, we do have a strategy. So uh, brute, brute force is not necessarily attack without a strategy. It's with a strategy that may not be an optimal. All right, so we have a function called bf, which is brute force, and it has two arguments, num1, nums1, and nums2. 
and we're gonna follow the exact method. So we need to combine the array. So I'm going doing this in JavaScript. And JavaScript combining array is pretty easy. We can use a spread operator. So I can say total array equal to, and I can just simply use spread operator nums one, nums, and this would give me one, three, and two in this case. And then I can simply sort it. So sort is pretty easy. If it's a number sort, then I would have to provide this. Again, if you are going for an interview, you need to have this, all these tools in your hand. You need to know how to sort the array, how to find things inside the array, how to combine the array, all kinds of tools. So when you go for an interview, you're not stuck. Next step is, is it even or odd, right? So we need to find a length. So what I'm gonna find is a midpoint. So let's call it MP, which is midpoint. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the length of the total array. So total array dot length and divide by two. So if it's if it's less this arrays, this will be two plus one, which is three. And so the divided by two would be 1.5, but I need an integer, right? So what I'll do, I will floor it. I'll, I'm gonna show you why, do I'm, why, why am I flooring it. Flooring means get a lower bound. So if it's a 1.5, you get one. 0.5 and that would be flooring, it would be one, which will be a two in this case. So that's why we floor it. What if it's an even element? If it's an even element, uh, let's say if it's like something like one, two, three, four, then the length is uh, four. So if I do divided by two, I would get two. And two is actually zero, one, and two. This is the, the two middle element and the largest of two middle elements. So the midpoint is the largest of two middle element, right? So just remember that. Okay, now, uh, we can simply say if it's odd, then return the midpoint. If it's even, then we have the largest of two middle elements. So we'll just the largest, but and one one uh, uh, less one, and then add them and get the average, right? So we can say if the the total array dot length. How do we find the if it's odd or even? We can use a modular operator and if it's not equal to zero, which means there is no remainder, then the answer is return the midpoint, right? Then we can say the total array, or I would have to do midpoint plus midpoint minus one, and then adding these two numbers and dividing by two because we get two numbers in case of even elements. And I can simply return it, right? I will get two, so one, two, and three. If I get four, and the answer is 2.5. So the, our brute force algorithm uh, works. But now let's look at the solution to optimize this. I'm just gonna clear all of these. All right, so I have a function called find median, and now we're gonna write a proper algorithm that solves it in O of uh, m plus n. So how do we do that? So first of all, uh, let's uh, set this as a default parameter so that if you forget to pass a parameter, this, this would give you empty arrays. And there are multiple ways to do it, but one is using merge sort. So what I would have is I would have like a two pointers one for each array. So let's say if I have a pointer, I'm gonna call this i1. And there will be another pointer, I'm gonna call it i2. Okay, and they'll be pointing the first element of these each array. And then I'm gonna check uh, if i1 is less than i2. In this case it is, then whichever is less, I'm just gonna uh, push this into a new array which is one, right? And I would increment i1, so now i1 would be pointing to here. Now I will compare this two arrays, and whichever is smaller, in this case this is smaller, then I would put two. 
and increment this. In this case, this array is done. If the if this array is done, then uh, all I have to do is just copy all the elements from here, which would be then three and four, and I have a sorted array. So by just going through this uh, arrays only one time, I'm able to sorting sort it. And I, I may not even have to go <clears throat> all the way, right? Because wh whichever uh, array ends, and then I have to just copy the rest of the array. Right, so that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna use a while loop, which is more effective than uh, for loops. So let's do that. Uh, the code will be a little longer. So let's have two pointers, let i1 equal to zero, and let i2 equal to zero. Then we need to get a length of both arrays, right? So I can have const length one equal to nums one dot length. And similarly, const len two equal to nums two dot length. And then the total length would be len one plus len two. So we get all the calculation out of the way. Just in case if the total length is zero, we have provided an empty array or nothing. In that case, we can just simply return null, which is, which means there is no solution because we didn't provide anything. We also need that merge array where we're gonna copy all those numbers. So we can say const merged equal to an empty array, okay? Now all we have to do is uh, a while loop that will go through uh, both. So this will be very simple. We can say while while L1 is less than the len one. Remember, we need to go through each array until we reach the end. So in this case, let's say if you, my pointer is two or one in this case, then I would have reached the array, end of the array, and I, I would need to stop, right? So stop when, when you reach end of either of the array. So in that case, I can say if it's, if i1 is less than length one and i2 is less than len two, right? Then it's very simple. We would see if the i1 value is uh, less than the i2 value, then we uh, push that value into merge. Uh, if the other way around, we push the second value into one, right? So we would say if nums one i one is let's say greater than equal to it is possible they're equal to then even though we want to use the first one or either of them doesn't matter if this is the case then dot push the first one which is this guy and else if push the second guy then i would do this okay so now let's say we reach the end of either array, but then there'll be some elements left. In this case, it will be like this two elements. And then we just simply copy it. And it could be either one, right? It could be in the uh, nums one or nums two. So we would have to write two more while loops. If uh, i1 is less than len one, which means uh, this element, this uh, array has some elements left, then we're just gonna copy that into merge. Then we simply, once we push it, we want to also increment it, right? Otherwise, it will go an infinite loop. Well, actually, I already have this, so I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and the second while loop would be for second array. In this case, it would be if two is less than two, then two should be pushed into two. So this would give us the merged array, but we still merge and sorted array, but we still need to find the median. We first find what is the, is it odd or, so we're gonna do a little bit better here. Const, let's say is odd equal to length modulo operator two, which means if there is a remainder, this is odd. And if it's odd, if is odd, then we simply 
find the middle value and then return it. So we'd say return and len minus one divided by two. This is almost like flooring it. And if it's even, then we get the upper bound of the remember. So we would say return len divided by two plus merge of len divided by two minus one. And then we're going to take both values and find the average of it divided by two. All right, so let's try to run this. All right, for this problem, it would be Okay, I made a tiny mistake. It's supposed to be I1 here. And so now if I do this, I'll get 2.5, which is correct for uh, four elements. So one, two, three, four. So the average of two plus three, uh, which is five and divided by two is 2.5. And if I remove, let's say one of these elements, then the, av the median would be two. And by the way, I'll provide this solution in the description so you can just uh, look at it. And I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe and provide a nice comment. You can follow me on my Facebook groups. I have three groups and this one is on Algo and DS, uh, which I created uh, newly. So please follow it. And you can follow me on Twitter and I also have a Medium article that you can check it out. And you can check out uh, two of my courses. I have one on React. Uh, and one on JavaScript and it currently is around uh, $8.99 and thank you for watching.